This is one of the most unusual lights we have ever used. It looks like a neon tube, but it's actually an RGB LED light with a maximum output of 100 watt. Besides being able to display pretty much all colors, it can also be used at standard Kelvin values between 2700K and 6200K. The Xeon 5-ray FR100C is tricky to categorize. It can be placed in the background of a scene or it can be used to light an interview. In front of the LEDs is a built-in diffuser. So the look of the light is rather soft and not hard at all. Depending on how close it is placed to a subject, the light fall is either straightforward with a limited angle or when going further away and increasing the brightness, rather wide. The light can be controlled with a dial on the back side. The settings are easy to understand and can be changed quickly. Switching between bicolor and hue saturation intensity mode only requires a push on the wheel. Powering the light on takes around 3 seconds. As of now the only way to control the light is the dial and there is no remote control available. Mobile app support would be a great option to have in the future with an updated version. The maximum output of 100 watt is limited to when the light is set to a color temperature of 4000 K. In most dark surroundings, this probably won't be very important, but when shooting in brighter conditions, this is important to know. Although we didn't do any lab tests with the FR100C, one thing is for sure, even at 5600 K, the brightness is very impressive for such a compact tool. While the light can be handheld when having a moving scene, it also features a bottom screw hole to mount it onto a light stand or tripod. This is essential since the edges of the device are rounded, which makes it tricky to place it vertically even on flat surfaces. Since this is a light that is probably often placed into a scene, it would have been nice to have the ability to simply make it stand straight up without a tripod. Xeon offers a white and a black version of the FR100C. I would rather choose the black option since it can be hidden better and the housing itself doesn't stand out too much. But this depends on the scene and type of shoot and whether the light is in frame or not. It's also important to note that two thirds of the light are illuminated but the bottom third has the Xeon branding placed on the front. The housing is very open to allow enough air to flow through. There are six built-in fans that automatically power on once the light reaches a certain temperature. The fans are rather quiet and don't make a lot of noise even when set to 100% in bicolor mode. The FR100C's design and build quality are pretty good for the price. The mode dials feels a bit plasticky but overall gets the job done. A useful addition would have been a second screw mount somewhere on the side or the middle but of course this isn't possible due to the cooling system that needs enough airflow. The weight of 900 grams is rather impressive considering the size and maximum power output which means it's possible to hold the light for a while when walking around. The device can be charged via USB-C and supports PD fast charging that takes around 2.5 hours. When setting the light to 5600K, we were able to get around 1 hour of constant use when setting the brightness to 100%. There's also a DC adapter available which can be useful for constant powering over long periods of time. Although this is not a typical light that is designed for lighting interviews or simple talking to camera shots, it can certainly be used that way. From a creative point of view, there aren't many limitations which is always refreshing to see. The only limitations are the shape and diffusion of the light. But it's also not meant to replace a COB light. So far we have used it off camera to light scenes on commercial shoots and I was mostly impressed by the high brightness even when recording in daylight without much noise from the fans. 
While there are a few minor things that could be improved in a future version, like mobile app control, additional mounting options, and a flat surface or integrated stand, the FR100C is a good all-around lighting tool. Let's also not forget that Jiun isn't exactly known for making lights, but rather camera stabilizers, so this definitely is a step in the right direction.